White House announced that it was on Tuesday, 9th of January, that uh, they were informed that the Secretary of Defense had prostate cancer diagnosed in December of last year. The Secretary of Defense went into ICU on January 1st, and for four days, nobody was informed of his condition. And his deputy, the one who's supposed to have stepped into his job when he's away on illness, was in Puerto Rico on vacation. It's absolutely amazing when you think about the chain of command, when you think about the clarity of the political system and the governmental structure of the United States, that something like this can happen, that for four days, Secretary of Defense did not inform the White House or members of Congress or even his colleagues in the Pentagon that he was away in ICU. And ICU is quite serious. People don't go into ICU without major illness. He was in the ICU for four days without informing anyone. This is really strange when you think about it. How can somebody of that stature, of that standing, number one, personally, not inform his colleagues and his superiors of the serious health circumstances he was under? That's number one, that's on a personal basis. We hear the U.S. talking about transparency all the time, how many countries are not transparent. Here is lack of transparency even within the government, within the top echelon, within the total leadership of the country. I think this reflects on a conspiratorial basis a number of things. For example, how the military industrial complex has become pretty much independent of the presidency and uh, the Defense Department can pretty much operate on its own and uh, ignore what responsibilities it has to the White House, to Congress, and to the population, to the people of the country. This is what it reflects. It reflects an attitude of disregard for what status it has in the government, what institutional responsibilities to be borne by the military. This is very dangerous. It's an issue of attitude of ignoring these responsibilities. And I think President Biden did not take issue with how he was not informed over such a long period of time. He just basically said, oh, I'm concerned about his health. I think the issues are much more beyond the conditions of Secretary Austin's health. There are some serious bad things going on in the government. The military industrial complex, as exhibited by its front, the Defense Department, is becoming even more arrogant and uh, dominant over the governance of the United States. The military industrial complex employs an army, no pun intended, of lobbyists to lobby Congress and feels it has quite a bit of control over Congress already. And this is why they can be quite arrogant about what their position is in the government. And I think in this particular case, it reflects how the military, especially in this case, Secretary Austin, can feel that he need not inform the government, he need not inform the president, need not inform even his colleagues of the situation that he was actually in the ICU for four days before anyone found out or anyone was informed that he was seriously ill. I think exhibits the arrogance of the military industrial complex. The military in the United States is the one that is causing trouble all over the world, creating conflicts between countries and launching wars for the last decades. Uh, they were the only ones who actually launched major battles against countries and uh, creating conflicts within countries as well. Uh, when a force of this type 
uh, can feel so arrogant as to not to be holden to the legal framework of the government itself, can feel that uh, it's unnecessary to inform even their colleagues on the civilian side of the circumstances. It's actually quite shocking.